Hi everyone, I have a Halloween DIY video today. It's not a paper crafting one, but I'm going to show you how to make these spooky graves. The graves are made from styrofoam insulation I got at the hardware store. But you can, some of my other graves are actually made from pieces of styrofoam from furniture boxes, which works good too. I decided on a shape, drew it on the piece of styrofoam with Sharpie and cut it out. I then drew the sentiment, rest in peace, RIP, with Sharpie as well. Here you can see I'm starting to cut out the wording on the graves. I just use an X-Acto knife and you cut in at an angle. I have some pictures here that show closer up to make it appear more real like it's cut in the stone or etched in the stone. Here I've cut out a different shape of grave and then I've also cut out a little skeleton shape to use as a decoration on one of the gravestones. And here's my helper, my dog McGee. He was really impressed. <laughs> Here's another picture of the wording that Rest in Peace cut out, so you can kind of see it's all cut out now. And then here is the same grave with a little skeleton. I'm kind of placing it, figuring out what I want it to look like, and then I glued it in place. Here I'm just showing a different shape of gravestone, and I've plotted out what I want on it, and I'm starting to cut it out on the diagonal. And here you can see a closer up of that some more pictures of that. I've added some little like wooden cutouts on the top that I used scraps for and glued them down. Here's the grave ready to paint. I just put it on a board. Make sure you're outside for this and took gray spray paint and sprayed a coating of that on the grave and then I took black spray paint and lightly just did some areas and kind of made it look older and more like stone. Now the spray paint is going to eat the foam a little bit so kind of take a light hand with it but it gives the look more like a more realistic look more like stone so it's kind of cool at the same time here's some pictures of the final product i just added sharpie in the any of the carvings to kind of bring it out so you could see it from further away and then i just prop them up with kind of sticks to help them stand up on the back like just a stake so this one says i'll be back and then montreal canadians because my husband is a maple Leafs fan another rest in peace and the year name here. And then I'm just going to leave you with some pictures of what our house looked like decorated up. Thanks for watching.